learn here lead anywhere our topic for today is the wireless protocols in iot devices okay so we studied already what are the different uh, steps in which iot devices are working that is they are uh, installed they perform connectivity that is they uh, sh- share data with other iot devices they perform analysis and they then then they do the action part okay so now we will uh, see how are the different iot devices connected and what are the different protocols through which iot devices are connected so we will be studying about wifi bluetooth zigbee and mqtt okay so let's uh, start with wifi okay so uh, as you all know wifi is a name of a popular wireless network technology that uses radio waves okay so uh, so radio wave is basically an electromagnetic wave of frequency between 10 to power 4 and 10 to power 11 to 10 or it can be around 10 to power 12 hertz okay and is it is wifi is basically used for that this electro i mean electromagnetic waves or radio waves they are used for long distance communication okay so to provide wireless high speed internet and network connections okay so uh, a common misconception is that the term wifi is short for wireless fidelity but it is not okay so there is no short form for wifi so wifi is simply a trademark phrase that means ieee 802.11 so basically ieee 802.11 it's a tra- it's a basically a, a standard which is defined as the connection of wifi okay so devices that can use wifi technologies include they can include desktop laptops video game consoles smartphones your tablets your f- acs fridges tv printers digital cameras cars drones almost everything that has embedded technology in it it uses wifi or it can use any other connectivity so compatible devices can connect to each other over wifi through wireless access point as well as to connect Uh, connected ethernet devices and many and may use it to access the internet like you see you have your mobile phones your computers connected to wifi and basically you get the wifi signals from a router and in in turn the wifi is connected to internet via a ethernet cable so you can connect your different devices to internet using this wifi So such an access point or a hotspot has a range of about 20 meters indoors and greater range outdoors. So uh, what does a basically a router do? It creates a hotspot or an access point which has a indoor range of around 20 meters but if you just increase the number of antennas in a router the range can get maximized in case of different office buildings or outdoors. So hotspot coverage can be as small as a single room with walls that block radio waves. or it can be as large as many square kilometers achieved by using multiple overlapping access points okay so the different versions of wifi are specified by ieee 802.11 protocols so you have 802.11 you have 802.11a 802.11b and 802.11c okay so the different variation of wifi i already told it is uh, specified by various ieee 802.11 protocols with different radio technologies determined so we have different radio technologies in it that determines the ranges or radio bands and speeds so in different and, and each of these may may that be 802.11 a b or g depends on the radio bands and speeds we can just change how uh, how can be the range and how can be the speed of particular network so and you know you see wifi is they mostly use 2.4 gigahertz uh, uhf okay so uh, basically uhf is nothing but it's ultra high frequency the short form for uhf is ultra high frequency uhf it is the itu designation for radio frequencies in the range between 300 megahertz and 3 gigahertz so uhf is nothing but it's a frequency radio frequency between 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz and it is also known as a decimeter band as the wavelength range from 1 meter to 10th meter of a meter okay so in uh, uh, is this i uh, 802.11 family what we have so there are basically it has four parts of a family that is 802.11 802.11a 802.11b and 802.11g so if we take a look at 802.11 
so in this this pertains to wireless lan and provides one or two mbps transmission in 2.4 gigahertz bands so what does it say it says that it pertains to wireless lans and provide one or two mbps transmission it provides around one to two mbps transmission that is the bit rate or the bandwidth okay so frequency is 2.4 gigahertz band using either frequency hopping spectrum that is called fhss or direct sequence spectrum that is called dss okay now there is a02.11a so this is an extension of a02.11 this part okay it pertains to wireless lans while well as the previous one also pertained to wireless lans and this also goes fast as 54 mbps so the bandwidth of the previous thing was 1 or 2 mbps but here it is 54 mbps in 5 gigahertz band so a02.11a employs the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing ofdm encoding scheme as opposed to either fhss or dh dsss so then we have a02.11b so in this part we have high rate wifi is an extension of a02.11 so it pertains to wireless lan and yields a connection as fast as 11 mbps so in case of a02 it is just 1 to 2 mbps in case of a02.11a it's around 54 mbps and in case of a02.11b it is around uh, 11 mbps Okay, so uh, in in case of age of two point one one G, this pertains to wireless LAN and provides twenty plus Mbps in two point four gigahertz band. So then we have some security issues. Uh, there are some issues in Wi-Fi that is, uh, <clears throat> we have the security problems like security come uh, like security concerns have. Uh, held back Wi-Fi adoption in corporate world because you see Wi-Fi is are like this type of network is more vulnerable to threats like hacking and any other part of the threat in which data can be stored in which data can be stolen or it can be like changed. So hackers and security consultants have demonstrated how easily it can be to crack the current security technology known as weird equivalent privacy that is called WEP. So it is a, a secure policy, but it can still be cracked. That is used in most Wi-Fi connections. So we have two part of securities. That is uh, WEP, and then is uh, there is WPA2 PSK. So out of which WEP is the strongest, and it can still be hacked. That is why it is more vulnerable to threats. So a hacker can break into Wi-Fi network using readily available material and software. Like anyways, any if a normal person. like a layman who has no idea about any programming if he can just search on the google and check how to crack wifi it is really easy for them then we have compatibility and interoperability w- what is the issue that the uh, wifi is, is not compatible or it is not interoperable that one of the major problems with wifi is its compatibility and interoperability say for example 802.11a products are not compatible with 802.11b products due to the different operating frequencies as i already told you see 802.11 has a different 802.11a has a different uh, bandwidth and frequency 802.11b has a different frequency so these two are not compatible with each other so due to different operating frequencies 802.11a hotspots would not help an 802.11b client let's say you have a client and you have a host or you have a server and you have a client let's a server if server uses 802.11a wifi and your client is 802.11b so it both of these are not compatible and your client can be connected to the server so due to the lack of standardization harmonization and certification different vendors come out with products that do not work with each other so if we see like uh, there should be standardization of these p- of this uh, what do you say the different family of wifi that is why they can be connected with each other and the third one is the billing issues so wifi vendors are also looking for ways to solve the problem of back end integration so that is a problem problem with the back end integration and billing which have dodged the roll out of commercial wifi hotspots okay so some of the ideas under consideration for wifi billing such as per day per hour and unlimited 
monthly connection fees so that billing issue is one of the major issues in the wi-fi like because the vendors they don't they, like they have to tell you uh, how to how do they bill your data rates it can be hourly it can be daily or weekly or monthly okay learn here lead anywhere